What's up everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look into a truly groundbreaking image generation tool. This amazing tool is called Pulit, a revolutionary new way to customize your AI art like never before. Pulit lets you maintain incredible image consistency and customize specific aspects of your generations without the hassle of fine-tuning or complicated Laura training. Imagine crafting consistent characters or making precise edits while preserving the original style and composition. That's the magic of Pulit. We'll be setting things up locally using Comfy UI. We'll also be using the Flux Dev Gunf model, known for its fantastic image quality and impressive efficiency on both CPUs and GPUs, running on as little as 4GB VRAM. I've included a basic Comfy UI workflow in the description below, and added an enhanced version of the workflow along with a one-click installer file for my Patreon supporters that can be found on my Patreon page. I'll be walking through a quick tutorial on how to get the workflow set up manually, right on your local device. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. Alright, so you've chosen to embrace the power of Pulit. Excellent choice. Let's get you set up and generating stunning AI art. First, for those who opted for the premium workflow in the one-click Windows installer, things are super simple. Just download the batch file, click the Flux Pulit Comfy UI.bat file and let it work its magic. This will automatically install Comfy UI, all the necessary custom nodes, and even the models, placing them right where they need to be inside the models folders in Comfy UI. Once the installation wraps up, fire up Comfy. Load the premium workflow, and you're ready to roll. This workflow gives you access to some extra goodies like additional LoRa and upscale nodes, and even the option to integrate an LLM for prompt generation. I've included both local Olama API and Google Gemini API nodes in the workflow. They're disabled by default, but you can easily enable them by right-clicking the node and selecting Bypass. I recommend using only one LLM node at a time. If you have Olama running locally, the workflow will auto-detect it and display your models. Just choose one and enter your prompt in the text field above. For Gemini, you'll need an API key from Google AI Studio. Grab that key, head to the Olama Gemini custom nodes folder in your Comfy UI directory, open config.json, paste your key within the quotation marks, save, and you're good to go. Enable the Gemini node in your workflow, pick your model, and start creating. Of course, if LLMs aren't your thing, you can always stick with the classic positive prompt text box and disable the API nodes. You can find the one-click installer and the premium workflow on my Patreon page. Now, for those taking the manual installation route with the basic workflow, you'll need Comfy UI installed first, along with the invaluable Comfy UI Manager node. If you're on Windows, grab the portable zip file from the Comfy UI releases page on their GitHub and download it. Once downloaded, Extract the files on your local device, and you're set. To install Comfy UI Manager, open a terminal, navigate to your custom nodes folder inside the Comfy UI directory, and git clone the Comfy UI Manager repository. Once that's done, if you are using the portable version, Navigate back to the portable Comfy UI folder, ensuring you're in the directory containing the Python embed folder. Then run this Python command that I will leave down in description to install the Comfy UI Manager dependencies. If you're using your own Comfy UI install and Python package from your custom nodes folder inside the terminal, simply run the same command without Python embed included like you see here. This will install all of the dependencies needed for the Comfy UI Manager node. Okay, so before we fire up Comfy UI and start creating, we need to gather our resources, specifically the models. For the basic workflow, we'll need 10 models in total. Nine of these are conveniently available through the Comfy UI Manager. We'll get to that in a moment. 
First, let's address the one model that requires a slightly different approach, the Pulid Flux model. This particular model isn't currently available through the Comfy UI Manager, so we'll download it directly from Hugging Face. I've provided a link in the description below. Once you're on the Hugging Face page for the Pulid Flux model, locate the Files and Versions tab. There, you'll find the model file, download it to your computer. Now, we need to place it in the correct location within your Comfy UI directory. Open your Comfy UI folder, locate the model's directory, and create a new folder inside it called Pulid. This is where our downloaded Pulid Flux model will reside. Drag the downloaded model file into the newly created Pulid folder. With that taken care of, we can move on to installing the remaining models and the necessary custom nodes. Now, launch Comfy UI. Load the basic workflow, the link for which is also available in the description. When the workflow loads, don't be alarmed if you see a sea of red nodes. This simply means that the required custom nodes haven't been installed yet. This is where the Comfy UI Manager comes in. Open the Comfy UI Manager from the right-hand menu within Comfy UI. Click the Install Missing Nodes button. This will present you with a list of missing nodes. Install each one individually. Once you've installed all the missing custom nodes, restart Comfy UI to ensure the changes take effect. Installing the Pulid extension can sometimes be problematic. When installing some of the nodes, I ran into a couple of import issues that you may run into as well that will be difficult to explain in this video and required a good bit of troubleshooting. I will leave a few commands that I ran with my install down in the comment section in case you run into these issues during yours. With Comfy UI back up and running and the custom nodes installed, let's populate our workflow with the remaining models. Open Comfy UI Manager again and this time, navigate to the Model Manager tab. This is our one-stop shop for downloading and managing models within Comfy UI. Since I already have these models downloaded, I'll just point out the ones you will need for the workflow. First, let's get our Flux Gunf model. In the search bar, type Flux Gunf. You'll see a few different versions. Choose either the dev or the Schnell quantized version. These are generally good choices for balancing performance and quality. Select your preferred version and click Install. Next up are the clip models. These are essential for linking text prompts to image content. Search for clip and install the following two models, the T5XXL FP8 and the Comfy Anonymous Clip L. We also need a VAE to decode the latent representations into beautiful images. Search for Flux V and install the Flux.1 model. Finally, we need our Insight Face models. These models power the face analysis component of Pulid crucial for achieving accurate and consistent character generation. Search for Insight Face and scroll down until you find the Antelope V2 models. You'll need all five of the Onx versions. Download each one. After installing all the models, refresh Comfy UI a couple of times just to be sure everything is properly loaded and recognized. Now, within your workflow, double check that all the nodes have their corresponding models selected. You can do this by clicking the drop-down arrow next to each model field within each node. Now, the moment we've been waiting for. Upload your base image, the one you want to infuse with your creative vision. Type in your positive prompt, describing the changes or additions you want to see in the image. Once you're satisfied, click Q prompt in the top right corner and let Pulid work its magic. Be patient as generations involving Pulid and face analysis can take a little longer than usual due to the extra processing involved. And there you have it. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of Pulid, exploring its power to bring unparalleled consistency and control to your AI image generation. I encourage you to play around with different prompts, images, and settings. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more exciting AI adventures. And if you're looking to take your Pulit experience to the next level, check out the premium workflow and other exclusive content available on my Patreon page. As always, a massive thank you to the incredible developers behind Comfy UI, Pulid, and all the amazing models that make this possible. And of course, a huge shout out to you, the viewers, for joining me on this journey. Until next time, happy creating!